uh, just well to this area, except on the other side. Actually, you can see on the far side over there, all that black. That's my bad welding over there. Yeah, I didn't do the best job. how smoothly that was gonna go <laughs> but he's off the ground on his six legs Okay, 
case you're wondering what's going on here, the leg levels aren't calibrated yet. So the uh, three legs work fine, and then the other three legs are kind of dragging on the ground a little bit right now. So I have to get them all at the level position and calibrate them, kind of. Next I have to calibrate everything, which basically involves going like this. And then locking a bunch of bolts in place when everything is level. Oh man, I'm going for an arctic dip. So in a nutshell, Robosaurus here can stand on his own feet now, so I don't need all this crap under him anymore. That'll be good to get that out of the way. And I'm just gonna leave him like this tonight and go jump in the Arctic dip. I'm knackered! Hmm, Arctic dip is cold, but refreshing. That whole robot thing went pretty well today, I have to admit. It's funny, I'm talking to the camera right now. Deshane is in there answering me. <laughs> Man, it's way more nerve-wracking testing out huge machines instead of small ones with little ro tiny robot things. If something goes wrong, it's not huge and disastrous. But with big ones, pieces can fly off and hit you in the face and, and then if things break, it's horrible. Oh, anyway, it's, uh, it's kind of exhausting trying not to think about all the things that might go wrong. Good thing I'm, it's dinner time, I'm starving.